hi and welcome back to another video i know it has been a very long time since i made a video the tutorial on wizard web builder i first of all want to apologize for taking so much in your time making videos but i must say that a lot has gone on here um, with me that has kept me from being able to make um, some more tutorials I got married that was sometime last year i started a family and i had to relocate from my old place to a different place so i've had a lot of things going on which has made it so difficult for me to get back meeting, making tutorials but a good thing is i uh, so far have got majority of the things figured out or sorted out and uh, soon i'm going to have a lot of time on my hands to be able to make more tutorials so uh, kindly forgive me uh, for staying away for some time now, but the year is almost coming to an end and hopefully in the coming year There's going to be a lot more that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, that's that's just about it um, So I just came back to check on what is happening with Wizard Web Builder and I noticed that version 18 is going to be coming out very soon so as usual as I always do I take you through some of the features that we should be looking forward to in version 18. So this is actually my first time, you know, seeing this and going through this. So we are going to be going through this together and see some of the features uh, that is going to be available in version 18. So the first of the features is a styles everywhere, which I am actually believing that most of the tools are going to have uh, styles pretty fine styles and them that you are able to select from so i think this is a pagination this is css menu this is page properties all these have a pretty fine options with styles that you can work with so good thing is there are some examples here so we can take a look at them and see what they are going to look like so let me just start with this um let me just come back from this and open this in a new tab so this is it. Okay, so this looks like a form. It says use the gender selection field to change the page theme. Okay, so boy, this is the style for boy. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, so it means that once you select an option within the field, it is going to change the style of the, the theme or whatever it is that you have here. So if I select neutral, this is why it shows up for neutral as well. That's not bad. That's that's cool. So let me just close my tabs here and then come back. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so this is style demo generator. This project demonstrates the use of styles in almost all Wizard Web Builder objects. Okay, so we have line, we have text, we have image, we have card okay let me just see what this has to say okay okay so okay so based on what you select is going to show you some of the styles that are coming to those um yeah that's 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 good to know so i can't wait to have these um um tools or new features which are covered to be able to use them in version 8 and so i'm looking forward to version 8 i can't really see much here maybe i have to do some more reading but let's take a look at the next one as well which is navigation um okay so this these are the types of navigation that are available currently and some of the options that are available to them okay let's look at the next one as well so which so basically these tools over here this menu contains all the styles that are coming uh to these uh, specific tools so maybe let's just move on to the next one so the next one says dark color scheme so one of the reasons why ww18 has extended support for styles is to make it possible to introduce another cool new features css color scheming or schemes dark or light now you can create a different color scheme for websites. Visitors who prefer dark mode and style manager. Okay, that's that's nice. Yes. So ever since dark mode became a thing, a lot of people would 
want to have that as part of their website option so in case you are browsing in the night you would want your website or the website to switch to that mode to you know um, prevent the lot of harshness or the lights that are thrown into the eye so which is a good thing to see over here so you can have the option to toggle between that mode and then um you know light mode for your website so yeah that's that's what you see over here so those are the properties that comes or is associated with the dark color scheme so that's that's cool to to see let me see the next one um okay so this is still okay custom school bus yes i think um, with regard to custom scroll bars, there has been an ex a couple of extensions that allows you to already have custom scroll bars. But the good thing is this time around, you don't have to install an extension to be able to change the way the scroll bar. So this is like the default scroll bar. Um, so it says added ability to customize the scroll bars of web pages. Now you can style scroll bars to match the rest of your design. There are properties to set. Okay. Yeah. So like I was saying, so now you can change the way your scroll bars show how thick the border um, that is the yes the thickness of it um the color and and so on which which is also a good thing you know it adds up to the whole functionality of the website and then responsive text so added responsive text object this is a simplified text object it only supports one type of font color etc per object it's this makes the object easier manageable in complex layout okay so um added option for responsive test now responsive test has already been a part of a feature for WYSIWYG web builder that is you being able to change text to make them responsive but it looks like this is going to be a dedicated text um object which is purposely for responsive text and i'm sure it's going to have some limitations that is to the font to the colors that you can set to it and so on but I'm, I'll be looking forward to see it so I can try it out and see how that is going to be. And then you have here, then it says other support for line height. Yeah, so I, I think line height wasn't a part of thing as part of the heading um, object. So now you'll be able to add line height as part to be able to have in, enough spacing around your heading object. And then you have SEO assistant. So yes, SEO assistant has been available in version 17 that allows you to um, or guides you to be able to uh, make your website search engine friendly so let's see what this is going to do it says added missing keyword as you targeted functionality this option uses the keywords from the page properties meta tags and checks whether these words are actually used in the page title description okay so this is not bad now as part of the ways to be able to optimize your website for search engine is making sure that some of your tags as a part of the page title or even a description so basically this is going to check that and maybe advise accordingly so you're able to uh, properly have your website optimized for search changes so that's that's nice to see uh yeah so let's see what's next new feature added check for page title and okay so yes as part of search engine optimization uh there are some limitations that you don't have to go beyond so one is the the length of your page title um some will be the description length then the keywords and so on so this is going to help you check the length of your page title so if it is too short uh you're going to have this warning which is going to prompt you that you know what this is too short maybe you should add more to it so that i also think is cool because in this age having your website optimized by search engine is, is good but having it is um, having it optimized very fast is really going to help so i think that is also going to uh, be a good feature to see in version um, 18 and then the next one is section so uh, many users love cards because they are easy to create great looking content blocks wwb 18 has a new design element called section okay a section is a responsive self-contained layout container section work the same as cards but the main difference is that items can be freely positioned oh okay this is really going to be cool because um you know one thing with layout grid is that you can't use layers in layout grid however i can use cards in layout grid but even using cards you have to stack objects on top of each other or maybe side by side and so on but what section is going to help you to do is that 
uh, and as much as you have a section within a layout grid you can still freely position object within that section which is which is really really cool so i i can't wait to see this feature yes so i'm looking forward to see section as part of ww18 and uh, let's keep scrolling okay so these are some of the things that you can create with section as you can see you can freely position object within section which which is really going to change the face of um designing and wizard will grab your that and then you have card so it's added support for motion effects okay so motion effects has also been a part of which we grab your that but this time around you can use it within cards which which is cool so yeah and then what else do we have let's see but it says added ability to set icon position and icon offset of the button item that is also within the card and then added ability to use scroll transition on individual cards so yes let's take a look at this uh, demo to see okay so once you scroll you have the transition sticking effect on the card so that is also an option uh, a new feature that is part of version 18 and i have card container added for new layout uh, modes cover cover flow stack cube and uh, flip okay so these are also layouts that has been added to the card container so card container has also been around for some time now so it's good to see that as well okay so these are the various uh, modes that you can see over here and then for navigations it says added an option to um added an option to add navigation arrows to carousel okay um cover flow stack okay so this is also part of the um card container some of the features that are within it so let's take a look at that as well let's see okay so this is the arrow aspect so once you switch the arrow it flips the card uh, to the next one which is cool so let's take a look at it it says mouse effect added mouse effect mouse track and vivid tilt mouse track creates a sense of depth by making objects move in relation to the visitor's mouse movement the speed property controls the level of the effect okay so this is basically um yeah so i have seen this feature with a lot of websites which i have always wished to have it you know as part of which we grab builder so now seeing this looks really cool and i can't wait to try this out so as you can see once you move the mouse objects are moving like in relation to where the mouse is being moved to so this is also a feature i'll be looking forward to it let me just close my tabs here and then let's take a look at the next one so these are the motion effects properties for the mouse track option that is available and then um it says the direction property can okay so this is still part let's take a look at this um demo as well so as you can see as i move my mouse i have the object moving in relation to my mouse so this is nice and yeah i can't wait to make tutorials on how these are going to be used so yes i think like i was saying it will be good to um, bounce back fully especially once version 18 is released so i can't wait to have my hands on it let's take a look at the next one we have protected content so yes protected content is also part of the login set of tools let's see what has been added to it now it says added ability to show hide element based on the login status of users okay instead of creating a separate protected page now it is also possible to protect specific content on a page available uh yeah available option are show for all users um, that is default shows for login users only show for logged out users only okay so yes this this is also cool um so you're able to add a little bit of dynamism to um the kind of login pages that you you create so that is what's with a protected page and uh let's see what's next we have protected menu items okay so add the ability to show hide menu items based on login status so this is also cool so if let's say you are logged in it shouldn't show you that you should log in again but instead it should show you log out and once you, sh you are logged out it should show you that you should be able to log in so that is also part of the protected menu items and then we have the login so added the ability to write login results to mysql or csv for each login attempt, a new record will be added with user name, date, time, IP browser, and so on. Okay. And um, 
what do you have next movies templates okay here's a preview of another template that is is a section okay so these are basically um template that has been designed so let's take a look at it and see some of the features that are so this is okay the scroll effect option once i scroll that is taking place okay okay that's nice yeah wow so we do go build that mission 18 looks interesting already so I think this is the end of some of the features that are coming and I'm sure there are going to be more. Okay. It looks like there's, there's even more here. So let me just switch to the next page. Oh, so there's PayPal shop and cut. I did use uh, shipping based on widget option. This option can be used instead of PayPal default shipping option. So this is part of the e-commerce uh, set of tools that is within with web builder that is using PayPal. So you have that option over here. And then what else do we have? Yes, yeah, so we have PayPal buttons. Okay, so PayPal buttons also has new properties added to them. And then we have, okay, so there's a template that has been designed. What else? We have shape dividers. So it looks like more styles has been added to shape dividers, which would be very great to, to see. So, yeah, so these are many more shape dividers. And then we have side summary. Okay, so side summary. Uh, option that summary contains statistic about the website project for informational purposes yes i think this is this is really really good um to have an idea uh, about the project that you work on because sometimes um you you have different versions of certain projects and you you it's difficult to determine which one is current so this is really basically going to help you to do that so you see the date created last modified the total editing time so how long you worked on it the project size the size of the file the pages it contains the number of images as well as the size of it the videos as well and if there are audios if there are downloads extensions and so on i must say this is really going to be helpful to be able to you know have information about projects that you work on and then um, we have asset manager added filter type linked uh, files so display a list of downloads in their project okay so this is also to be able to um, add a filter to the asset manager and uh, let's keep scrolling what do we have next icon library so added user collection functionality this makes it possible to add icons to a custom collection so you have all your favorite icons in one place so this is basically you being able to add your own icons to the set of icons that are available so which is also great um so you have icons added transition property this specifies the timing and uh, duration for the hoover transition so yes this is also as part of the icons and i have multi animations which is also uh, something that has been available in version 17 it says added ability to add a page um, a preview image this will be displayed in the workspace as a placeholder instead of the standard Luti logo. Okay, so you can have a preview with the Luti animations that are available. Yeah, so based on what you select, you see um, a preview of it. That's that's nice. And then we have branding. Okay, so this is a template that is available in version 18. And then we have edit box slash text area. So added support for floating labels. Uh, with floating labels, you can insert the label inside the input field. Okay. And make it float or animate when you click on it oh okay so what is basically going to happen is that um, as part of the labels you can this time around position it within the field but once you hit into the field that you want to type then the label moves upwards or whichever position you want to have it so let's take a look at how that is going to be so we have um, email address once I click on it it moves up so you can see that and then once I select, yes, yeah, so that's the floating um, labels we have in version 18, which is coming soon. And then we have select. So combo box has been uh, renamed to select. Okay, so instead of combo box, we have uh, select and then also add a support for floating labels, just as we saw. Yeah. And then we have um, radio button. So added bootstrap inspired radio button so yes this is 
the bootstrap ui so that is being used for the radio button then checkbox so this is also bootstrap you have bootstrap version of it as well as jquery and then you have flip switch okay so this one also can now be used to toggle between light and dark um, color scheme here so just as we saw dark mode and then light mode you can use the flip switch to toggle between them that is um, an option which is going to be like more or less available on the website for you to switch between so that is all for uh, page two let's take a look at page three so we have capture added full width property specifies whether the element is for it so yes this is going to be useful especially if you are using layout grid so you can um, switch the capture to full full width because sometimes it comes a little bit awkward when you have a full width page but your capture is just something small in there so this is going to allow you to um, switch your capture to full width and then you have image comparison so this is going to be more or less like a before and after sort of um, option where you're able to use this particular um, tool to be able to do that and so let's just keep uh, let's take a look at the demo of this so you can see this this is like the before of the place or maybe black and white of the place and I have the after also of the place which is colored so this is the image comparison too and then you have rollover text added show always option to animate list so when this option is selected the text will always be displayed so let's take a look at that as well oh, okay so okay that's 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 nice so this is more or less like um, animated or animations available with regard to the rollover text and then you have banner so other ability to control text animation of banner with event media so these are the um events that you can control within the banner um too so let's take a look at this also here so you have the banner so if i play i can pause then i can stop it so that's with regard to the banner too and i have stock photo oh so now you have um an option with pixels at first it was just on splash or was it on, yes it was just on splash um but now you have pixels and you also have pixel b yeah so i mostly get a lot of uh stock photos and videos from pixel b so it's good to see pixel b pixels and then on splash all at one place it means you have unlimited um options with stock photos and videos that you'd want to use as part of your project and it looks like there's another template here so Basically, these are the, some of the features that are going to be available in version 18. So most of the features looks excited already, and I can't wait to see uh, more of the features that are going to be shown soon. So hopefully, um, we do go build that 18. It's going to come out soon, and it's going to definitely change the face of website design. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so that will be just about it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching as usual if you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on that bell so anytime there's a new video you get to see it so look forward to more videos from me and thank you for watching bye for now